All right, so if you're in the device manager and you see a bunch of these other devices um, with missing drivers, usually what it is is the um, chipset drivers, but we're gonna see. So their motherboard is Prime, this ASUS Prime Z690-A. So I just actually Googled um, ASUS Prime Z690-A drivers, um, or you can just go to the um, manufacturer website and usually it's under support and then you can go in the support and find like the drivers and stuff um, so HP Dell whatever brand or thing that you're doing all right and then here you can see we have the we did Windows 10 and the chipset drivers let's go ahead and actually open this up and see if that will fix it um, problem is here this chipset driver only has that so Let's uh, extract this. Um, depending on how you have your computer set up, this has 7-zip. Um, you probably have it set up with like Windows Explorer or something. So you can like go in here and then you can extract it. Um, but since I have 7-zip, I'm going to open this and then I'm going to extract to this folder. Okay. Then we'll have this folder here. And let's see if this driver will actually get any of those to go away. I don't know if they will or not, but let's find out update driver browse computer we're gonna go to the desktop oops we'll go to this driver here that we just installed and next nope nothing what about this one next nope nothing what about this one nope nothing I wonder what these drivers are usually I do like the device oops what did I just do Usually I would go to like the, um, what do you call? So I'm not sure which driver this is that it's looking for. What about the unknown one? Let me see if I can figure out which driver it is and then I'll be back. Okay, I think I figured out what's wrong. I didn't pay attention. Here you can see the first chipset driver was Intel GNA something something. I had to click the show all button. So now you can see all of this, okay? So before it wasn't showing all these other drivers, all right? And we most likely need the one that's the larger one. I don't think it's the Intel SIO. We can try downloading that as well though. Um, so we can save that one. Um, it's most likely, um, okay, here's the Intel chipset driver. We'll download that one as well. Sorry, I'm not like zoomed out enough. And then we have this, um, larger fire file intel me so sometimes it's that so we'll download that and then we got intel serial io we'll download that so these are all different okay this intel management engine is likely the same as this intel me so we'll leave that um, then they have these other like beta versions and stuff of these drivers okay so we're gonna wait for these to download and then we'll try these so we tried the gna one we tried the uh intel rst sorry Okay, then we got this serial I.O. Let's go ahead and extract this one. Okay, let's try that. Or maybe I should click this setup Intel serial I.O. Okay, next. Accept the terms and agreement. Accept, next, install. I should actually keep the device manager up so we can see. Oh, and there you go. It already got rid of a whole bunch of them. So I will restart the computer later. But there you go, Intel Serial I.O. got rid of a whole bunch. Next one, let's try the chipset one. So we'll extract this. And we'll install this as well. Next, accept, install. Let's see if it gets rid of any of those. Okay, so far nothing disappeared there. So, oh, there you go, and there we go. So chipset driver. This one and the serial I.O. fixed everything. Okay, we're going to install these anyway. So let's go ahead and install the ME management, uh, whatever that's called. Okay, let's go ahead and install this one as well. And then we have one more. So the Intel management engine, let's go ahead and install that. Accept, next, next. Okay, we'll restart later, finish, and the last one, Intel, oh, we already did that, right? Intel Serial I.O. Is that the same thing? Let's try and extract it and do it as well and see if anything's different there. Okay, the folder went down there. 
Then we're going to set up Intel Serial I.O. And OK, it's already installed. So we don't need it twice. We'll close that. OK, and I think that's pretty much it. So these two were all those missing drivers, it looks like. And I think that's pretty much it. So we're just going to restart the computer and everything should be good. Throw this stuff away. Restart and we're good to go. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.